Hey there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim. I'm here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. So I hope you're doing really good. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you all, all of you. Um, appreciate all the likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you're interested in a private reading, I'm doing those for donation for a limited time. So check out the box below to find out how to get that and I'll contact you. All right. So, for Aquarius calling in their spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power, what do we have? I have four, so I'll take all four. Dove spirit, be the peace, or be peace, 21, three, 16, seven, coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. You're going around a different way than you thought. You're getting somewhere in a different way than you thought. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. And I'm noticing that with the bee piece, like both, you know, it's an interesting, it's they're mirroring each other. This is the bird of the nighttime. This is the bird of the daytime. That's crazy. Oh, and then Moth Spirit, Surrender Now. Okay, so there is a big rebirth happening. Um, they're asking you to find peace inside, knowing that sometimes around us is not exactly how we were wanting it. So you can choose to find the peace inside you. There is something that's happening in a different way. I expect twists and turns when I see this card, Trust in Divine Detours. Like there's something that's happening that may be doing, it may be, uh, it's a certain thing that you're just like, why does this have to happen to me kind of feeling? But it's a detour. It is something about a detour. Rebirth is assured the way that they're going. Surrender how you get to your goal and they will get you to your goal. Spirit, spirit will. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait, says watch and wait. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave those up there so that you can look at those. Those are very pretty. I like those. And let's do your tarot spread. All right, for Aquarius. We have calling in their spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for the greater good. What's the issue for Aquarius? There may have been a reunion or was a reunion. You may be still working on things about gathering together. Might be getting together with friends, drinking possibly. What's the challenge to this? The Empress. Reunion. Um, excited, getting excited, having fun, celebrating abundance and celebrating something that has to do with the Empress energy either mother energy or like a rebirth um, of empress energy. So something that's being brought to life or something you're bringing to life since it's the challenge. It's a very fertile time though. There's three of cups. This may be like somebody's mother being a challenge. You know what I mean? Like this, like this could be you um, and then somebody's mother is the challenge or providing a challenge to you. Hmm. All right. Or it's about creating something and needing to create something. So at the root of this is the Queen of Swords. What you need to surrender to is the truth, all the truth. Complete truth, queen of swords, finding truth, finding the facts. May appear cold sometimes, may appear rigid, even when the atmosphere is nice and playful. But to get what you need to create or to get something done, then you need that queen of swords energy. Because it's targeted and it never, she never really misses. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we could have um, Capricorn here too. So that could be your energy, the past is knight of wands in the reverse somebody from your past did a very careless thing 
made some really poor judgment calls. They made some bad decisions that affected you. It might have been a mother figure. Whoa, okay, the hermit. Hermit energy for present energy. You're really going inside yourself. You're asking yourself what really makes you happy. You may be exploring areas of yourself that you don't like to explore. Might be exploring fears. You may be putting down social media. The Hermit is, um, you know, very contrast to this Three of Cups, like, <clears throat> situation. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Might be about getting out with friends. Oh, my God, my throat. <coughs> hey, I'm back. That was, that was a lot of coughing. I'm sorry if I actually added some or left some in there. Didn't edit it out. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The near future energy, though, for you. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles upright. Capricorn, Capricorn. Queen of Wands in the reverse. It's, it's, it might be a person, a Leo Aries Sagittarius, who's not bold, not daring, or not being as bold or daring as they could be. Or you could be more bold and daring about the way that you go about creating an at-home business. It might be about some kind of business. I don't know. You're spending time alone in this present energy. Possibly the situation thinking back on reunion or memories made or making new memories. Queen of Pentacles is about living in the right luxury. Like you're not... There's an issue with not being assertive or standing up for the way that you want to live. Luxuries and things like that. And I think that you bring it to you, though, with this Empress. And how do you feel? Wow, you feel targeted. You feel like you know what you want. It's illuminated. Things are illuminated for you. And you've illuminated things for other people. Passion, warmth is really the best card in the deck. It's going to be important that you stand up and, and talk and say how you feel. Speak because throat chakra, you know, with me coughing and stuff could be a Leo energy. In the situation, around, in the environment, truth is coming out. There is a truth coming out. Ace of Swords, truth clarity some more truth this truth this ace of swords is like the victory it's like that the victor holding up his sword ace of swords it, it is the clarity that you need uh to win the fight that's generally what this is hopes or fears i'm thinking that this is about our mood being balanced like hoping somebody doesn't shake us up too much or doesn't bother us. Like that person better not hit me the wrong way, you know, or talk to me the wrong way because it might not hit me real well. I don't know. There's something about balancing the mood here. It's a hope or fear. It, it, it might be regarding something new, someone new entering the scene. This person's very loving though, caring, benevolent. The outcome. For Aquarius, what's the outcome? Oh, nice, Aquarius. Have the magician. That's the clarity that you're getting. That's what I said. I think there's something that you're creating with this. Um, look, you're not giving up. Not giving up. And definitely something that you're creating with the Queen of Pentacles. It might be a home job or something like that. The magician here. You have all the resources that you need at your disposal. Or you can easily get to them. Wow. I like that. I like that magician card a lot. And this is the card letting you know, Three of Pentacles, that your angels and your spirit guides are helping you get through this and they're helping you manifest this. Because Three of Pentacles is you not doing it alone. But you're able to manifest because you have the magic. You may also be manifesting more education for yourself as the hermit sometimes is studying. You know what I mean? 
All right, so perseverance, keep going in, keep going. Let's get you some fairy dust and wrap up the reading. Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it again. Here's the support. There's always help around when you ask, it can be found. All right, sending you love and light. Bye.